Hey everybody, this is a quick add-on to my Moloch video because I went over 10 minutes on the other one, but I just wanted to add a few more experiences that I had with the Moloch and his terror from below. <clears throat> Love this thing. It's Sorry. When you bring it in, I've tried it also on attacking vehicles. So let's say you have a rhino or a devilfish or some other lightly armored vehicle that's filled with troops on the inside or even better, units in a building, even in fortifications. Uh, Fortress of Redemption, they're on the bottom floor. Bastion, they're on the bottom floor. Whichever. The terror from below still works. In fact, it almost works better on these guys because you get the double tap. So if they're in a building... The terror from below just hits the first floor of the building. I don't know where you put the mall lock, but apparently he's in the bottom floor of the building after you wipe out the unit. So you can just say, ah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put him right underneath um, your bastion. He's coming in on the first floor. You got any units down there? Boom. Strength 6, AP 2, Ordnance Blast. Still got any more units in there? Boom. Let me do it again. And it doesn't specifically say it, but I don't see how you can't. But if the blast templates then hit the side of the building, I guess you hit that too. Um, <laughs> it's just so incredible. So you can then imagine the same thing for like a rhino or a chimera. Uh, you place your blast template on it. Boom. The first hit could possibly pop the vehicle okay then you set up all the troops that were inside of it around the wreck or whatever okay and then boom you do it again because they're almost certainly going to be within one inch range and you hit them it's a double tap you hit the vehicle pop it and then you hit the squad on the inside it's just eating them crunch, crunch, massive dune dune sandworm just r r r i like it um <laughs> i just like it it was so fun to do <clears throat> there are so many combos you can bring in on this so many disruption tactics it's happening on the movement phase so any stragglers anybody who just happens to survive that You've still got your entire shooting and assault phase left. And this is this is where the lictors come in for picking off the stragglers or, or your tyranids. I mean your, your gene stealers uh, in, in all those infiltrated units. You, you do this. Could you imagine? Can you imagine three Molochs doing the terror from belief, uh, below in, in one term? Because it happens in the movement, so you can just choose where you go. Oh, look, I didn't wipe out that squad. It, it managed to survive somehow, some way, and the Moloch just appears on the table. Do it again. I got Moloch number two is going to pop up beneath you. Here's another unit right now. Here, Moloch number three is going to pop up beneath you. And then even then, next turn, you're still left with three monstrous creatures sitting right there on their side of the table but normally my lictors didn't pop in uh, uh, to clean off any stragglers that's exactly what they were designed to do or uh, and you do it in order right so I can hit everything with the Molochs first and then say okay uh, now my Shrike's deep strike now my Ravners <laughs> pop up uh, from their deep strike too um, it's just so many possibilities to do it. Now my my gene stealers then outflank and come in on the side of the table if they could do that. You can you can pretty much on turn two set up your entire army on the other side of the table, like I said, and just totally totally throw the players into disarray. Whatever he thinks he's doing now, he's just running around trying to survive. Um, the fun thing about it is the sky shield. <clears throat> it pops up underneath that automatically. It doesn't even deviate. Says, Hello, I'm underneath your sky shield now because units don't deviate when they come in on this. I love 
the Moloch. There are so many different possibilities of things you can do with this guy. Make sure to give him the regenerate. Make sure to give him the um, acid blood for anybody stupid enough to assault him on that one turn where he comes in, where he has to survive one turn. Okay, let him run in and assault him. You give this guy acid blood, whatever's remaining, uh, they'll be dead. And, and then at the end of that, you just hit and run him. Just hit and run him. He moves away. And then you can tunnel the turn after that on your turn. And he's gone. He's gone again. So yes, feel free to put him in the middle of your opponent's army. And then just put him into ongoing reserve. And do it again. And even on the mishaps table, you don't care. Because the, the most common mishap is uh, you come in next turn. Uh, or the enemy places you anywhere that you want to be. Okay, so what? I tunnel the turn after that and do it again. Try the mall lock. Try him. He is fun. Just fun. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think. Bye.